Another great door that we talk about a lot around here is the gate beautiful, Acts chapter 3. And you know this story that the apostles were on their way to the, to the temple at the hour of prayer. This whole year is going to be marked by times of miraculous prayer, times of encountering God in prayer. They were on their way to encounter the Lord in prayer when they walked past a lame man who sat by the gate beautiful. Now, you got to think, this is in Jerusalem. Jesus had been in Jerusalem. you got to know that this guy had probably even seen Jesus walk by. But what did Jesus say? He said, greater things than I do, you're going to do. And this man was seated next to the gate beautiful. It doesn't just mean it was a beautiful gate, because in the Greek, this term beautiful actually means the right time, the right hour. It means a season of flourishing, a season of blooming. Now, we've been talking about super bloom around here. How many know that at the beginning of COVID, before COVID even happened, the Lord had given us a word of super bloom? We actually got it at Stephen Jenny Watson's church when Rachel Hicks was preaching there, and, and she talked to us about super bloom, and then God just began to unveil it to all of us. We began to decree that before COVID was even a thing. And during COVID in this church, and we're not a huge church, but we, I, think we had, I think we counted 42 families bought new homes during COVID. Every business, I think, exploded in business. People started new businesses that thrived in their very, very first months, very first year of business. They were in the profit. They were in, they were in the black the very first year. Come on. We had super bloom because God said, I will bring uh, blossoms out of the desert. And we laid hold of the word of the Lord, and we saw church growth. We saw business growth. We saw family members, prodigals come home because God said, it's the right hour. It's the right season. You need to war with the word of the Lord. And so at the gate beautiful, I want you to see this. The, the lame man that had sat there for years received a voice-activated miracle. They were walking by. He was begging alms, and he was crying out for money. And Peter and John turned and looked at him, and they said to the man, look at me. And then they made this decree, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And that decree activated healing in this man. And it says, and they took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his ankle, his feet and his ankle bones received strength. So he leaped up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. Come on, we see that the dead were raised in the city. We see that the doors of the prison were open when Paul and Silas began to praise. Come on, the doors were a place of the supernatural. I want you to stand to your feet with me, and we're going to make this decree right now. Come on, if you've been in prison, if you've been depressed, if you've, been, if you've had mental anxiety, if you've had physical sickness, if you've had uh, addiction, if you've had hopelessness, I'm telling you we're in a season right now. God is saying speak and make decrees and act. Activate your miracles. Activate miracles for your prodigals. Activate miracles for your businesses. Activate miracles for your family. Come on, I'm telling you that you may have felt like you were in a stranglehold. God is decreeing this is a season of breakthrough for you. Lift up your hands and decree this with me. Say it with me. Thank you, Lord, that you are revealing yourself as he who opens and no man can shut. 5784 is the right time, the appointed time for my miracle. I am standing in the doorway of the supernatural and hearing God's voice of promise. I let go of all past disappointment, barrenness, shame, and fear, and embrace my divine opportunities. I activate my miracle season with my voice, and I make a choice to believe God in the face of impossibility. With God, all things are possible. I will possess my double door of hope this year in Jesus' name. And if you believe that, I want you to just give the Lord a big shout. Hallelujah. Woo. Amen. 
So we're going we're gonna to activate that double door, that supernatural. Number two, God is releasing to us in this season strength to turn the battle at the gate. Strength to turn the battle at the gate. Isaiah 28, verse 5 and 6 says, in that day, I want you to say, in this day, in this day, the Lord of hosts will be for a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people, for a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment and for strength to turn for those who turn back the battle at the gate. That word strength means force, might, valor, victory, and strength. It also means to be a warrior, a champion, a strong man, to be brave and mighty. It means to be a giant. <laughs> I want you to lift your hands up. Come on, there's been a wearying in the last season, and the Lord is saying, I'm imparting new strength to my people. I'm imparting strength to, to turn the battle at the gate. I'm imparting strength to my people that are going to stand for justice. Come on, God is releasing justice in this season of time. That's where God deals with the corruption. That's where God makes the crooked places straight. That's where God comes down and intervenes in the course for men and for women. We decree right now, God, we are not backing up. God, as a matter of fact, we are rising up. I heard heard the Lord say this is a time to rise up and take risks, to rise up and take risks, to rise up and receive the strength of the Lord, to rise up and to be a warrior, to rise up and to be a champion, to rise up and take the mantle of strength and bravery and boldness and risk-taking upon our lives so that we can begin to fight the giants, Lord, that have been possessing the gates, Lord. You said that we would possess the gates of our enemy, God, and we decree that now in Jesus' Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 16, it says that there is a great and effectual door that's open to me. How many believe that that's God's opening some doors this year? That's kind of the good news and the bad news. You know, it's like the pastor that said, we've got a huge hole in our sanctuary roof. It's going to take $50,000 to, to, to fix the, the hole. He says, but wait, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. He said, the good news is we already have all the money that we need to fix the hole. And everybody went, yay. He said, but the bad news is, it's in your pockets. Okay? So we got good news and we got bad news. The good news is there's this huge gate that's open to us of opportunity. But it says, and there are many adversaries. And there are many adversaries. So I want to remind you of Hosea chapter 2, verse 13. That says, he will give you the valley of Achor, the valley of trouble, the valley of calamity, disaster, the things that the enemy wants to stir up, I will give that to you as a door of hope. And as I was studying this a, a number of weeks ago, I heard the Lord say, this is going to be a year of victory in the valley. 